Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade Food and Recipes and today we're going to be doing a prep video on how I prep up ready for my beef jerky. This is going to be not normal beef jerky, it's going to be Dr Pepper and Jalapeno beef jerky. Don't ask me how I come up with this idea because I haven't actually tried it. This will be the first time I've tried this recipe. I come up with stupid things when I'm on my day job. I work, when I'm working away at work, and my brain constantly flowing, full of ideas. I love it. And somebody come in with a can of Dr. Pepper and I was sat in the canteen on my dinner and I'd already made the beef jerky previously. If you've watched my previous videos, you've seen I've had a new toy made dehydrator and um, I've been working on different stuff for that. Um, and I just thought, Dr. Pepper in beef jerky, hmm, maybe. Bit of spice, add some jalapenos. Don't want to go too hot with a scotch bonnet or anything. I, want to, I am going to be doing a reaper jerky at some point. That's going to be out of this world. But this combination, I'm pretty sure will work. So we've got our steak. So what we're going to do, this, I found a little tip when I was researching beef jerky before I, when I was considering buying a dehydrator and it says freeze your steak and I thought well that's going to add more moisture to it but when you read it in properly it just says freeze steak for 30 minutes just to firm it up a little bit just to it makes it easier to slice and trim which is true because it's a lot firmer so we're just going to quickly trim as much fat as we can off this piece of sirloin and then we're going to slice it thinly because obviously the thicker you slice the steak the longer it's going to take to dehydrate so I'm just going to quickly run through this you need a decent sharp knife for this obviously make your life so much easier so it's going to slice it, as you can see, as thinly as possible really, so the dehydration process doesn't take so long and you want to try and get them, it's not always possible, but as uniform as possible, so the thickness of the steak dehydrates at the same time. So I'm going to quickly whiz through this steak. There's quite a bit of fat in this pe middle piece, so we're just going to have to, like I said, I advise you trim off as much as possible, so that's what we're going to do. There's a big chunk of air, look. I'm just going to whip that off. So, nearly there. More slices. I will get down to get into the butcher and getting a decent piece of meat. I mean, there's nothing wrong with using sirloin. I've used it on my previous beef jerky and it, it came out wonderful. I'm, I'm, I've never been a big fan, to be honest, of beef jerky. But when I'm, now I've made my own, I'm happy. I, I do like it, love it. A few people have tried it at work and then they want me to make them some. So I am going to be making some. For people at work, see what they think. So, we'll get rid of the chopping board, quickly wash my hands because it's holding raw meat, and now we're going to go into the marinade inside of things. So, we have a can of Dr. Pepper. So, we're going to go, like I said, it's the first time I've ever done this, so I'm going to go with about half of what is it? 330 mil, so I'd say 150, 160. Um, the jalapenos I've put through my neutral bullet and blasted them for a good two or three minutes, so it's like a puree. If you haven't got a neutral bullet, just finely chop or get them in a mixing blender, whatever you can, however you can do it, do it. So in go the jalapenos. We've got ground black pepper. 
in there. And now on this plate, we've got a tablespoon of smoked paprika, teaspoon of chili flakes, onion powder, garlic powder, all in the mix. Get it all in. And obviously this is going to add moisture to the meat, which we, we don't really want. So once this is all mixed, it's going to marinate over a couple of hours, but I prefer over that. You've got to get the flavours marinated into the meat. So when you do dehydrate it, every bite's going to be tasty. It's going to be fantastic. So we're going to give this mixture jalapenos. I love the taste of Dr. Pepper anyway. So I'm going to get it all mixed up. Careful not to break the meat into off the strips you've already made. So I'm gonna. That's all lovely and mixed. It doesn't look very pretty at the moment, but I'm hoping. I'm praying. Like I say, this is an experiment recipe. I've never done it before. I've missed out the soy sauce. Well, a couple of teaspoons of soy sauce. So you've got. The salty soy sauce, the sweet Dr. Pepper, the spice of the jalapeno. It smells amazing. Smell, I wish you could smell it. It smells fantastic. You also got the chili flakes in there, so you can have a little kick of the chili flakes, the bite of the jalapeno, salty, sweet. Oh, man, it's going to be fantastic. So, that's the mixture done. We're going to put that in the fridge now to marinate overnight and I'll be whacking that in the dehydrator in, tw in 24 hours time and then we'll come back and we will do a tasting video. I'll get it out of the dehydrator, we'll sit down and we'll see what this uh, jalapeno and Dr Pepper beef jerky is going to taste like. I'm, I can't tell you how happy I am with this dehydrator. I've got so many ideas, so many things I want to do. So most weekends, when I'm not working the day job, I will be smashing it. I've also got fruits to do. I want to try different types of things with fruits. Maybe do some lemon with cinnamon on, um, a bit of sugar on. Oh, my brain's overloaded. But anyway, that was my prep video for my Dr. Pepper jalapeno beef jerky and I will see you all again very soon for the tasting video, which I'm so excited for. Thank you very much for watching. Please like that, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're watching me for the first time, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Peace.